Hi, I'm Karen Tyler. I'm the veteran service officer for the town. And I just wanted to introduce myself again, um, just kind of touch base and um, reach out to the residents of Newbury. Um, so Massachusetts is unique in that there is a veteran service officer in every city and town, uh, which is a huge benefit. Other towns, other states that don't have that, um, the veterans and their families are um, at a disadvantage that they don't have a professional that helps them obtain, you know, um, state, local, and federal benefits. Um, so my main purpose here is to assist um, the veterans and their families uh, seek out, obtain, find out if they're eligible for the benefits and help them fill out the paperwork. Um, anytime you're dealing with the government or benefits, uh, a, lot of, a lot of times it is difficult to navigate through the system to make sure that you have all the right paperwork, that you're filling it in correctly, that it's going where it's supposed to go. And so by having me, um, who has gone through a lot of training, who does this every day, it makes it easier. And I also, you know, I, I'm a support system in that, you know, you can feel more comfortable submitting what it is that needs to be done. And I also am able to tell you about benefits that you haven't thought about. Um, so I just want to work along um, and have a relationship and see what is out there that you might be eligible for. So I pretty much help everything uh, soup to nuts. I'll help you throughout the whole process. Um, one of the benefits, again, it's unique in that it's only Massachusetts. Um, is a benefit, it's called Chapter 115. And that is a financial benefit for low-income veterans or surviving spouses. Um, so that's, you need to know is that surviving spouses are also eligible for this benefit. And so to be eligible for the benefit, uh, they look at two things. One is income, the other is assets. So if you take a single person, it would be an income of less than $2,100 a month. And in assets, it would be less than $5,000. With a family, two or more people, it would be roughly $2,800 a month in income and $9,800 in assets. So say you qualify. What that means is it's a financial benefit and it comes in three parts. It comes a financial, an ordinary benefit is, a, is for um, just a straight supplement. Uh, the next is medical and that's medical reimbursement, including um, reimbursing for Medicare. Um, any co-pays or un, uh, reimbursed medical expenses. And the third is fuel. So if you have your own fuel and you need fuel assistance, that is another um, benefit that falls under this chapter 115. Now you may qualify for one or qualify for all three. What we do is we sit down and talk to you, um, look over the documents that are required. Um, and this is a split local and state benefit. Um, so if, when we have the documents, um, in place, we'll send it to the state to get state approval. And then we'll start, if you're eligible, start doing a monthly check. And that would come from the town of Newbury. And um, so I really, really like to push this out, um, find out who's available. Um, this is, you know, uh, a tremendous help as you can see, um, because of the uh, financial eligibility, it could really help people. Um, the next, um, so that's the local and state. Um, the state also has benefits um, as there is a welcome home bonus for those who are just returning um, or just being discharged from the military. Um, you can see me and so if you, you know, were in, a Massachusetts resident, 
before entering the military. When you discharge, there is that benefit for you when you get out. Um, there's also state annuities, and um, that's another benefit that I would go over with you, um, see if you're eligible, help you out with the paperwork. Um, and another one um, is property tax. So all of these things, there's lots of criteria that you would have in order to find out if you're eligible. And so that's where I come in. So I go all that over all of that for you. So you don't have to do the research. You don't, it's what you don't know, you don't know. So unless somebody's telling you about it, um, how are you supposed to know about these things? The third is uh, federal benefits, and those are VA benefits. And what those are, it's, you know, there's such an array, um, you know, there's so many different benefits uh, through the VA that you uh, might be eligible for, and um, the amount of work and documentation to submit in order to get any of these benefits um, is pretty, uh, pretty intense. Um, and so what I can do is help you navigate the VA system. Um, you know, I would tell you what documents need to be provided, what happens by providing these documents, what next steps are, that type of thing. So if you want to apply for VA healthcare, you haven't signed up for VA healthcare and you want to use um, VA hospitals, um, that's something that I would help you with and get you, you know, to the appropriate um, eligibility center. Um, it might benefit you to get your prescriptions through the VA. So, I mean, that's just starters. Um, above and beyond that, I can help with service-connected disability claims. So, say something happened while you were in the service, an injury or illness, um, and it's something that's affecting your life now, we can put in a claim for that, saying what happened to you while you were in the service is having an effect on your life since then, including now. Um, and that can be, you know, um, hearing loss. I do a lot of hearing loss claims. So say you were in the service and you were in the infantry and, you know, using weapons and um, having to, to a lot of fire, you know, um, a lot of weapon use, or if you were in the Navy, you know, on a destroyer, I mean, it goes on and on. There's so many, you know, different scenarios that might, where you might have been uh, exposed to loud noise. And um, so later on in life, you know, you, you get, as you get older, your hearing gets worse um, and you may need hearing aids. So if we could connect what you did in the service to your hearing loss now, we could get you enrolled in the VA system and hopefully get you compensation for that hearing loss, which is a big benefit in that you would get hearing aids from the VA. And that's, you know, about a $5,000 um, cost savings. Uh, there's also, I help people um, if they get out of the service and um, they get symptoms of PTSD. I would help fill out the paperwork, go over it. You know, it's something that you don't want to do alone. And so um, this is something that, you know, is a sensitive subject. And I have um, a lot of experience. Um, and with that and confidentiality is, um, is utmost importance. Um, so that's, you know, that's another um, example of a service-connected disability. Um, and there's a huge range of what, you know, you might be experienced. Um, another benefit is, uh, it's called aid in attendance. And that is a benefit that is you either, um, the veteran or surviving spouse might be eligible. And that has to do with your health. If you have, um, you know, if you have health conditions and, um, you know, financial need there is the criteria to find out whether or not you're eligible. Well, I would help you, you know, do all the paperwork, get the documents that you need and, um, you know, help you through the process in order to submit it to the VA. There's pension, annuities, um, education. So as you can see, there is so many different benefits out there and without having any knowledge or 
um, experience with that, it can be very overwhelming. Um, and so that's what I want to do is to help you out so that way you're not feeling so overwhelmed that you want to give up. So um, that's, that's a huge part of um, a benefit that Massachusetts veterans and surviving spouses um, get. Um, other things that I've helped with is um, homeless vets. I help with housing. I work with the Veterans from Northeast Outreach Center. Um, I also um, have done, you know, um, ceremonies and education. Uh, we had an event in Byfield, uh, which was for uh, veterans who were exposed to environmental hazards. And that means uh, veterans who, you know, were exposed to Agent Orange during Vietnam. Um, uh, Gulf War, um, being exposed to burn pits, Camp Lejeune, um, exposed to um, exposed to contaminated water, and so in doing that education uh, summit that we had, we had experts come in from the Agent Orange uh, Registry. Um, we had somebody from the War Illness and Injury um, Study. We had uh, the Vietnam veteran of America, the vice president of that. Uh, we also had somebody from the VA, um, a doctor come in to speak to those things. So going to a summit like that, you get the real information, the tried and true, you know, they really um, explain what it is that's going on and how you can um, move forward and, um, explore, you know, what, what happened while you were in Vietnam and, you know, what the VA is doing now to um, recognize that and to, you know, find out if you're eligible for things moving forward. Um, so the, the amount that we do through this office can be, you know, it's really soup to nuts and um, anything that we can do for veterans or their families. I just want you guys to know that I'm available and that's what I'm here to do. Uh, it's what I love to do. I'm an army veteran myself. Uh, when I was in the service, I was a mental health specialist. Um, so to be able to help veterans and their uh, dependents, families, um, you know, it's, I, I feel very passionate about it to be able to come for full circle in, you know, helping people while I was in to continuing that service when I get out. So um, you just want to let you know my contact information. So my office is in Ipswich, but I have office hours in Newbury and, um, and I also do home, home visits. So my office hours are going to be posted on the town website and on my website, which is the Eastern Essex Veterans Service District. And um, my phone number is 978-356-3915. I'm going to repeat that. 978-356-3915. And I encourage you, even if you don't think you're qualifying for right, anything right now, call me, check in, you know, might not apply to you now, but it might apply later on in life. Um, so I, I really encourage anybody um, to give my office a call and we can just have a conversation about that. 